The thing that drew me to optometry as a young boy, I, I needed glasses. And so the first time I went in, I think I was 10 years old, and I got a pair of glasses and I put them on and it was a whole new world out there. You know, I could see that uh, those things on trees were actually leaves and I could read signs and all the way home I was yelling out signs to my mom and saying, wow, look over there, I, you know. So that was a, an excitement, a wonderment. I tell people nowadays that I'm kind of an entrepreneur trapped in an optometrist's body. So that was, always, that was always the driving force of having my own business. And the challenges that came with that were exciting uh, and something I was looking forward to. So when I really got to the threshold of being able to do that, um, I jumped right in and did it. When I first opened, I was slow. <laughs> I had one employee and, you know, we would kind of sit around and, hey, you know. Uh, and of course, I started advertising right off the bat. I mean, I think that's important for any business. You've got to get the word out. Uh, I started small, of course. My budget was very small back then on the advertising part of it. But I made a commitment to having to be a percentage of my, my gross revenue. And as my business grew, then my advertising grew, you know. Um, and uh, I remember I used to take a picture of me and my staff and put them in the, in the phone book. So I called up one day and I told my wife, I said, come on down and come get in the picture. She said, well, I, I don't really work there. I said, I don't care. It looks like I've got more employees. So come on down and get the picture. So I think I had like four, four ladies in the picture. She was one of them, you know, to make it look like I had a bigger staff, you know, that we were busier than we were. So um, good memories from back then. Oh, I've been trapped in this personality from day one, so. <laughs> I mean, I think that, uh, you know, you are who you are, and if you try to be somebody else, I mean, people see right through that. So, um, you know, one of my strengths in business is kind of the marketing and the, you know, what I bring to that. You know, I have some weaknesses, and I've hired good people to fill those gaps, you know, in my business model. Um, but yeah, what you see is what you get. You know, what you hear on the radio is pretty much me. You know, hey, let's, let's, have a, let's be efficient, let's have a great time, but hey, let's have a little fun along the way too. That doesn't hurt, does it? You know, growing up in a large family and without a lot of money, uh, I knew the importance of value from a very early age. And so whenever I started in practice, that was going to be kind of my, my flag, if you will, because I was going to bring value. I mean, I remember going to the, uh, to the optical shop as a little boy and having one choice of glasses. It was the only thing we could afford, you know, and, um, and that was okay. You know, I could see through them and they were, you know, they were great glasses and I enjoyed them and, and they changed my life. But, but I, uh, you know, that's one thing that's always been at the forefront of my marketing is trying to bring value to eye care. You know, I don't know a lot, but I do know a few things, and that is that people want, they want to come in and they want to get the latest fashion in eyeglasses and sunglasses. They want to get the latest technology in contact lenses and contact lens solutions. They want to come into a wonderful facility. Uh, they want to have, uh, they don't want to spend all day doing it. They want to, you know, have efficiencies with their time because, as we all know, we're all busy. Uh, they want to get the best eye exam they've ever had because, quite frankly, they want to see through their contacts and glasses clearly, and they want to do this uh, and save money. And that's the formula that I brought in, but with the leading edge always being valued. Well, I mean, I love Tulsa. Tulsa's my home, um, and Tulsans are great people. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed growing up here in Tulsa, and you know, the nice thing about having all those business modalities kind of under one umbrella, if you will, or in one city, is that they're right here and they're handy for me. I don't have to do a lot of traveling. You know, my kids, I just became an empty nester last year, but that was one of the things that kind of was a driving force to, to build other businesses within Tulsa, um, is that I got to uh, kind of leverage the marketing arm that I've, that I've built in town, quite frankly, and then also I didn't have to travel a lot when my kids were young. I could, you know, it was very important to me to spend time with them, so. I remember when I was just getting out of high school, we had the big oil bust, and, and it was really bad economic times in Oklahoma, in particular Tulsa. You know, we used to be the oil capital of the world, and then we lost that um, to another city, and the oil industry just went down. And so, you know, that's kind of the backbone, and it has been the backbone of Tulsa and the surrounding area. And with it doing well, you can see Tulsa just ramping up. So that's, that's exciting, that's encouraging. You know, you hear about big announcements and, and some of the things that local government has done and, and the vision that they've cast. And you, know, you see big things like that, it just makes you proud. It makes you happy to be, you know, a Tolson and be part of this community and to add whatever I can add to that.